Florida gearing up to reopen several theme parks after shutting down for Hurricane Milton. Disney World, SeaWorld, and Universal Orlando are all expected to open their gates in Orlando tomorrow. The parks all closed on Wednesday when Milton hit. Park officials say some special Halloween events won't be offered and some parts of the parks might not be functioning. Wasting no time, I guess. Well, animals rescued from places devastated by hurricanes Helene and Milton are being brought to other shelters by those same rescue groups, including the Best Friends Animal Society in Soho. The animals came from shelters that lost power and experienced flooding, so it's crucial to get them out quickly. The society is now asking people to adopt or foster them and are waiving adoption fees for all hurricane rescued animals. These life-saving transports, whether or not they're coming into our center or going up as the dogs were kind of going to our partner shelters, um, we all band together to really support the community in times of need. So this opportunity is amazing because we're able to spread awareness as well. So go out and adopt. The adoption fees will be waived all weekend. A new study revealing Americans lose 36 days per year to their phones. Research says the amount of time the average American spends scrolling, streaming, and binging on devices translates into three days a month, and it's worse for younger people. Gen Z Americans feel like they lose closer to five days per month or 60 days per year. On average, most people consume about six hours of content per day. Nearly half of those polled admit they feel like they consume too much media, and 36% say their mood is often negatively affected by something they see on social media. <laughs> well, when you put it in those yeah. words, oh my goodness. Guilty to all wow. of you, I guess, right? All right, and there's more of the 10 o'clock news straight ahead. All right, first, so here's a look at what we can expect tomorrow on the Roads Rails. All right, some good news for nail lovers and Nicki Minaj fans. There's a Pink Friday Nails by Nicki Minaj pop-up in Soho until Sunday fans can get a first look at the innovative nail designs. They can test out Minaj's Pink Friday Nails and secure an appointment with a pro. So Shopify has this space, and we've unlocked it for Nicki's brand, Pink Friday Nails, to be able to bring these products to her fans. Um, this is our first pop-up, and it's really exciting because we've been able to, you know, really fabricate the space exactly how she would, and really be able to connect her brand directly to her fans. Organizers say Pink Friday Nails empowers fans to express themselves and stand out with confidence and style. I love that you had to read that. Yes. Get some Manny and Petties, Nick. What do you think? I'm ready. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> I lost a bet to my daughter years ago when there she you was go. younger, and I had to get my nails done. That's so. a real girl dad. Yeah, that's, that's right. girl dad stuff right there. <laughs> All right, well, we're getting down into the 30s tonight, north and west, so we're kind of chilly there. There'll be some frost potential, as we talked about, and put a chunk of New Jersey, again, west of the city and up to the northern parts of the Hudson Valley there. Uh, 30s there, 40 in the city, middle, lower, upper 40s or so on the, along the coast. Tomorrow, beautiful day, a little milder, we'll have sunshine climbing into the upper 60s. That's where it should be this time of the year. Saturday was beautiful, sunny, a bit breezy, but look at how mild it gets, 75. 72 on Sunday, sun goes into clouds, showers by late in the day, certainly Sunday night, but then they're gone by Monday, a windier day with temps in the mid-60s, then it really cools down, stays gusty Tuesday, Wednesday in the upper 50s, lower 40s at night. Better on Thursday. Chilly. All right, Nick, thank you. And don't go anywhere. Good night, New York, with Crystal Young and Ryan.